All right, I'm going to give you a basic walkthrough here. I'm going to go kind of fast because for me to run these video tutorials, I had to turn the fan and air conditioner off, and it gets just way too hot in here. So what I did was I selected a sphere here, which is this one here. This is a geodesic sphere. And what I did was flatten it up. As you can see over here in the Y, if I move this little cube up and down, I set it to 1. I didn't set it to 0 because if you pancake it too much, you're not, you're not going to be able to scale it back up. So I went ahead and went into the top view mode and selected your windows here. And uh, I'll go ahead and hide these windows, and you can see I just did half. I went to the vertex modeling, and I went to the free tessellate and used the top one. The top one allows you to skip over edges. I'm not over edges, but uh, select in between over here on, in the middle of the polygons. Um, if you want to use the second one, which would probably might be a lot better, but it's going to be more time consuming, you need to add more geometry. And for to do that, you need to select the item. And what you need to do is you need to subdivide it and collapse the DG down here. So I'll just kind of show you. If you want more geometry, then select this here, and it you might you might get too much. Then you might want to use a second one. But if not, Control Z that. Okay. Then what I did was just did half of that. Then I end up cutting the model uh, in this direction here and cutting the lower half off. And then I mirrored it. Then once I done mirrored it and cut this back half off, all I had to do is bring it up here and scaled it like this. And basically this one on the left is the results of this one on the right after I mirrored it. So this is basically the, uh, let me go ahead and hide this so you can see it. This is basically the end results.